Hey everybody, Will from One Kilo here. Having a big clean is going to make you a powerful beast, whether that's on the platform, on the court, or on the field. And in this video, I'm gonna give you my number one tips to make your clean go through the roof. And that's coming up right now. Hey everybody, glad you're here. If it's your first time, 10th time, or 100th time, please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you know every time I put a video out. The case for having a big clean for a weightlifter is clear. If you're a weightlifter, you've heard the old saying, snatch for show, clean and jerk for dough. Cleans win meets. There's always awesome, awesome scenarios where an athlete is behind by five, 10, 15 kilos after the snatch, and they come back and pull out a massive clean to win the gold. Just look at the 2016 Olympics with the 77 kilo class. That was an amazing competition where the athlete had to pull out a massive world record clean and jerk on that final lift. And having that in your back pocket is a huge, huge benefit if you're a weightlifter. The case for an athlete to have a huge clean is just as clear. Athletes with the biggest cleans are often the ones with the highest vertical jumps, fastest sprint times, and best first steps on the field or court. When I was an athlete, taking my clean up a level made me a better athlete in football and track and field overnight. And of the hundreds and hundreds of division one athletes I've coached, almost every single one of them saw a direct correlation between a bigger clean and faster sprint times and better jump heights. So the case is clear for an athlete, now let me tell you a little bit about the science of why that is. The science of why cleans and other Olympic variations are so important in the training of athletes is very clear. Cleans and Olympic lift variations like the snatch and the jerk are very high power output exercises. They are movements that create tons of watts, the unit we use to measure power uh, when you do them. A uh, clean can be four, six, even eight times more than the power an athlete would produce on a bench press, a squat, or a traditional deadlift. So uh, when we have athletes creating a bunch of power, they're doing a couple things. They're recruiting the biggest muscle fibers for activities that are heavy and explosive. We get huge motor unit recruitment. That is the body, the mind, the brain is sending signals down that we have a really hard task to do and we're not gonna recruit little muscles, we're gonna recruit the biggest muscle fibers that we have. So this huge motor unit recruitment is a very big part of it. Olympic lifts and cleans in particular also are at the perfect intersection of force and velocity. If you think about power, uh, power is on the, the force velocity curve. It's gonna sit right in the middle, about 60% of peak force and Olympic lifts are exactly in that zone of peak power. So by doing Olympic lifts, we're recruiting the biggest muscle fibers and we're doing activities that require the most power output. So they are gonna make athletes uh, who are more powerful. So those are two incredible reasons to do cleans. Now coming up, I'm gonna share with you the, my favorite ways to blow up your clean. So I'm gonna introduce you to uh, four of my favorite variations on a classic clean that will help your clean improve. And I use variations all the time to help my athletes' lifts improve. Variations are just you know small tweaks to the classic lift, and what they're gonna do is they're gonna put the athlete in an environment to succeed. So rather than me, the coach, standing there yelling at you, telling you, you gotta do this better, this better, this better, Instead, I'm going to give you a variation that requires you to do it better, almost for the sake of completion. So you'll know if you make a mistake on these because the error will be very, very obvious. So variations are a super powerful tool, way better than just my words telling you to do X, Y, or Z when you lift. Uh, they are going to put you in an environment to succeed. So variations are the way we're gonna choose to improve your clean. And coming up, here are the four best variations for improving your clean. First of the four drills that we're gonna to use to help you improve your clean is a clean from a block above the knee. Uh, this is gonna be a great one. Uh, it's gonna mimic like a hang clean, which is super useful uh, in training, but because we're off of a block, we're gonna be able to fix 
poor positioning above the knee. And we're gonna be able to use the block to set you in a perfect start position uh, before you go. So what we're looking for is we want chest over the bar, we want your weight balanced across your entire foot, and we want your shins vertical and the bar pulled tightly against your leg. So with those four checkpoints, we're just gonna drive against the floor, push down hard, and explode up. You should feel that bar slide up your thighs, stay close, and move under to catch it. So a clean from a block above the knee, gonna be a huge, huge drill for you to improve your clean technique. You may be familiar with this drill's cousin uh, when I told you how to stop missing snatches forward, but this is a double pump clean. So what we are gonna do, we're pulling from the floor to start with, the athlete's gonna pass the knee just a little bit, maybe a third of the way up the thigh, while maintaining their torso angle over the bar. You're gonna work to push with your legs, pushing down across the whole foot, knees move back, and then as you lower it, that's one of the pumps. You're gonna let your knees move back forward, then knees move back. So what you were doing on this drill is learning how to make that transition from below the knee to above the knee, and that is where a lot of stuff goes wrong for athletes. If they do not get the bar, they do not get their knees moving back while their weight stays balanced, you're gonna have a hard time putting up huge weight. So get good at the double pump clean and you will see your clean skyrocket. Our next drill is going to be a clean pull plus a clean from the hip. You know that I love this hip position. I think it is one of the positions that athletes miss the most. In fact, I think uh, this is something I use a ton with athletes uh, in and of itself because you're gonna be producing a ton of power. There's not a lot that can go wrong once you get in the right position. So what we wanna see is that we want you being tall with the torso, tall, torso should be nearly vertical, very little incline forward. The bar is gonna be at, in or near the hip crease and your knees are gonna be bent. This is a big push down in the ground. We're gonna have an explosive finish with the knees and the hips just driving hard and getting that bar elevating vertically because weightlifting, remember this, weightlifting is a vertical sport. So we wanna do whatever we can to get the bar moving vertically. So clean pull to get that thing moving plus a clean from the hip is a great drill to improve your cleans. One of my very favorite variations to get the clean moving in the right direction is a clean pull, but we're gonna add just a little bit of a wrinkle. We're gonna pause on the toes on the finish because what we wanna do is get the bar directing up. This is a vertical sport. We're working on moving the bar straight up. So as you make that pull from the floor, we're getting the knees back, bar's getting on the thigh, early in the thigh, it's gonna slide its way up. And instead of making any contact and getting the bar going out, we're gonna keep driving it up. And so we pause on the toes to ensure that you as the athlete can remain balanced uh, even at the finish. So those are my four favorite drills to help your clean explode. Thank you so much for joining me. I know that if you have made it this far all the way to the end of this video, you must like it. So like it, subscribe, and please ring that notification bell. Drop a line in the comments if you want to see something on this channel. You know that I've been here, I'm working every week putting up new content and I wanna hear from you. How can I help you with your Olympic lift? So please drop a comment uh, down below. Please tell me what you wanna see and I will make it. So if it has to do with weightlifting. Anyways, thank you so much. I will see you next week right here uh, with more from One Kilo.